and from the Brit Hadashah, the New Covenant. James chapter 1, verses 22 through 25. James chapter 1, verses 22 through 25. Thanks, Jesse. James chapter 1, verses 22 through 25. And Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 20. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It's then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father heaven. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For assuredly, I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. Whoever, therefore, breaks one of the least of these commandments, and teaches men so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you, that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Now, all of the passages this morning had to do with the law, the word of God. I want to give you guys the opportunity for just a, a couple of minutes. If you have any other favorite verses that talk about the law, to, to just go ahead and, and read them. I mean, one of, one, I mean my fa one of my favorites is the passage from Matthew chapter 5 that we just read. Um, another of my favorites was from Psalm 119, which, is this, which we sang, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. But surely you have your own personal favorites. Do you want to share them? What's your favorite verse that talks about the Torah? Bob? Uh-huh. That's okay. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving his soul. Absolutely it is. That's that's wonderful. Always Thank you for sharing. 
Anyone else? Want to share their favorite verse about the law? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, the law, the law of the Lord is perfect. Um, and uh, we don't have the actual scripture passage, uh, verse, verse, chapter and verse, um, but I'm sure that those looking it up at home will, will find it very quickly. Um, anyone else? Sharing, sharing, we're sharing uh, our favorite passages on the Torah right now. Um, anyone else want to share one? Ebby? Jeremiah 31. I shall put my Torah in their inner parts. I shall hide it in their hearts. Jeremiah 31, 33. Love that passage. Um, you know, it is, in Jeremiah, obviously, 31 is the foundations for the New Testament. That's what the New Testament was given to us to do, to place the law, the Torah, in our hearts. Um, because we couldn't get it there ourselves. Anyone else? Favorite, favorite verses? All right, let me share some, uh, some information. I, I've dug it up, dug it, dug it up, dug in, I've dug it up. Uh, we already talked about the fact that the parchment, the, the, uh, the Torah scroll is all handwritten. Um, it's parchment, there are three different kinds of parchment uh, that can be used. All of them uh, are from a kosher animal uh, and the delineation has to do with uh, whether it is the outer part of the skin, the inner part of the skin, or something, or something, you know, something else. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly what those designations are, but there are three different types. Um, oh, if it's anything else, other than these three types, it, it's a non-kosher Torah. So can you have a, co a non-kosher Torah? Yes, you can. Um, it's written either with a quill that's not kosher uh, or on parchment that's not kosher or sewn together with stuff that's not kosher. Um, we already talked about the fact that the goose or the turkey is the bird of choice for the quill. Um, what we didn't mention is the fact that any time the tetragrammaton, the tetragrammaton is that four-letter name of God, yud Hey vav Hey. any time that word is written, that name is written, a special quill is used. It's a quill that is only used for that, for that name. Uh, it's not used for anything else. Um, there are, uh, and, and this is where we start getting into the trivia. How, all right, how many letters do you think there are in the Torah? How many letters? No, no, no. Not how many different letters are there in the Aleph Bet. How many letters are there in the Torah? <laughs> Five beautifully written letters from the Lord to us. Awesome. There, about what? In the Torah. There are three, 304,000... 805. 304,805 letters that are beautifully handwritten, tediously, painstakingly so, on 248 pages of parchment, taking anywhere from six months to 18 months to complete. The scribe is not allowed to do it from memory. You would think, right? They actually have a...